I want to talk about the technology space, but first, you've uh, been in business for a long time, uh, innovation globally. I want your take, what's the proper response of American business to the position we find ourselves in as a country right now, based on the events of the last few days and weeks? And do you see any impact on brand America and brand American business? Well, good morning, John. And I think what's transpired in the last few days is <clears throat> it's, you know, historic uh, as it relates to the Republic, and it's just a tragedy. And I fully expect uh, that the American people will band together as they do, okay, and unify and get together and get on with the job of uh, operating uh, the greatest country in the world and uh, building business, creating jobs, and uh, dealing with you know important social issues that need to be addressed. So I fully expect the American people will come together and get the job done as they have always done in the past. Now, do you expect any ongoing impact of this in the way that business operates internationally? We talk about, you know, uh, there, there are all sorts of metaphors, shining city on a hill, you know, uh, the example that America sets, American leadership. Uh, China has certainly taken the opportunity of this challenge to American democracy to level some pointed criticisms at us. And there are a lot of ways in which China is trying to challenge American business and its influence globally. Is that an issue? Well, I think that we are looking at a, uh, you know, a fundamental contest of two uh, diametrically opposed political philosophies. One is a top-down totalitarian state versus a free market economy. And uh, in, you know, historically, the free market economy might be a little messy, uh, but we seem to rise to the occasion and get the job done. And I believe that we will rise to this occasion. Tom, how do you see that broader, you know, AI race between the U.S. and China? You've been, you know, hugely successful since your IPO and attracting investor attention. But, you know, as I've reported in the past, there's a lot more startups focusing on artificial intelligence in China. So where do you think uh, sort of the playing field is right now? Who's in the lead? Well, uh, I think China is investing tens of billions uh, in this, in a very well-organized um, fashion coming from the NRDC down, and they're very serious. And as Vladimir Putin said in, I think, September of 2017, uh, you know, whoever wins the, the, the war on AI dominates the world. I believe that's true, and it will not be Russia. So uh, I think this is very critical. I think we need to take it very seriously. I, uh, we have some very bright people in Washington, D.C. doing this. But I think it needs to be um, a more organized. And, um, you know, hopefully I'd be surprised if this administration doesn't step up to the plate, recognize the importance, make the use of the bully pulpit, and especially, um, you know, mobilize the private sector as we do so well uh, in, in Western economies uh, to address this opportunity. But if we lose this war on AI, we, uh, this story will not end well. Tom, you know, a lot of people who watch innovation and tech for a living are centering in on climate. Uh, it's certainly a priority for the new administration. Uh, Kara Swisher thinks that the first trillionaire will be somehow in the climate uh, business. I, I wonder if you think it deserves to be at the center of the discussion from here on out. Yes, I think that I, I think that I, I think that, uh, you know, energy security and climate security are very important issues. And these are very natural applications of AI. So you can see the work that, we're, that we are doing with um, uh, at the C3 AI Digital Transformation Institute with Microsoft, MIT, Berkeley, Princeton, Carnegie Mellon, University of Chicago and Stanford. Uh, that the next call for papers is going to be about applying AI and digital transformation to uh, energy security and climate security. So I think this is a natural application of AI where we can have a huge impact on safer energy, cleaner energy, more renewable energy, using AI for carbon sequestration, what have you. So yes, I think there is a very large opportunity there and will be, will be uh, the C3 Digital Transformation Institute will making, be making a a very large announcement on that shortly. 
Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.